Thanks for joining me again. Thought I'd have a go at a uh, mountain, mountain scene today. So, I've got my usual 15 by 11 Fabriano, 130 pound water full of paper. This is the large Ron Ransom Hake. And this is Ultramarine. Bit of raw sienna. Just working your way down to the bottom of the paper. More the water. Put in the edges. Just dipping the tips in just to bring the airs and water the brush again. Got a bit dry. And then you see the bit of bit of blue sky right at the top of the mountains. Drawing the brush slightly on the uh, towel and then just taking out, you just see just like the top of a mountain there, like that, something just looks like a sort of snow peaked. Yeah. Do that a bit more. Another one up there. A bit more ultramarine here, yeah, it's just popping up. Lower, lower regions of it. Some of the lower slopes. And then we come into stronger paints. And to another plane in there. A bit closer towards us. Just wet that lower area a little bit. And if we take that out, that's just work that something like that. Nice and wet. And you can take that out with a piece of tissue. Um, kitchen roll this is. I find kitchen roll just works better, it's just strong, that tissue just breaks up. So easily. And then what I'll do below that is back into the those colours again. Just introduce a little bit of lemon yellow. Just, just working like a just a tree line. Pines grey, really darken it there. A bit of light red just to warm everything up a little bit. And again, if we just wet it all a little bit. Quite that sort of misty look. Paper stretch a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight so it's flat against this uh, piece of plywood I use there to fix the paper to. Just flip a few little. Little trunks there. Oh, I'm not doing any more than that. And then in front of that, let's do another layer of another layer of trees. And again, a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue. And again, slight pan. I just got this water jar just just getting away slightly. I've got nowhere else to put it. And just popping in 
which looks like there's a sort of mist in like some sort of valley between the two sets of trees. And then I'm just trying to vary the colours and move along, try and keep it interesting. And, uh, and I want to make sure it's dark here because I'm scraping like a little cabin on the mountain side. That's going to work all the way across up there. Like I say, make sure this is nice and dark so it'll contrast nicely against the, the cabin when I scraped it out. So for the cabin I'm just going to take a piece of plastic card and I'm going to do something to the roof and just pull down slightly with the side wall. I was pulled down about half of what I, half the size of the roof. There's the other part of the roof and then this bit there. Just pull down. Just like the bits of timber for this side of the wall. And then a little chimney. Maybe another one little next to it. Let's do a I've got a smaller card here. You can have a whole load of sizes if you like. Let's make this one slightly smaller. And this one just fits maybe in like a telegraph wires or something. You know, just bits there, just sitting around. Could be lugs, anything up in the mountains. I'm just going to do a, something else just there. Just gives the impression of a little, just a tiny little community living up in the mountains. I'm going to clean the brush, take that excess off on the towel, and I'm going to go into raw sienna. In fact, what we need here is like a little path or something leading to our little village. So I'm just going to go red, blue, and then work out where I want the path to go. Somewhere like that. I'll just emphasise that a little bit more. Maybe a few little fence posts or something, just to define it. Getting a bit lost. Here comes the rain again. Clean the brush. Bit of green. Raw sienna. Bit of brown. Blue. Back to the green. Just bearing it as I've worked my way along. It really darkens that green almost as much as the Haynes grey. Right, let's dip it in, let's get back to some lighter colours. Raw sienna, lemon yellow. Just fill in these gaps. I don't mind the odd white gap here, all painted paper. As long as, as, long as there's not too much. Blue. 
bit of red even. How strong the red is. Just repeat it over there a bit so it's not all the same. Just over there. Back to the yellow. I think we're almost almost done. I think what I'm going to do is just put a little. Now all that was done with a hike, hike and a piece of card. I'm just going to switch to this rigger just to pop in a little bird. And I can just go over here somewhere. And I think I'm going to call that one. Finish all that's left now is pop your name in the corner. And I think I'll leave that one at that. So let's have a closer look at it. This is our painting. Yeah. I've tried to create layers there. I mean they almost look like clouds, the furthest ones, where I took the paint off. So you sort of got the most distant mountains, ones with the snow on, then slightly closer, another one there, and then much stronger tone, this near the hillside here, sweeping right the way down. Took the paint off with a tissue, just where the birds are flying here, just try and create that sense of mist between the bottom of this hill and behind this tree line here that worked its way all the way across right in front of this mist to the other side below this load of um, trees again took it out with the uh, tissue and then put another tree line in to try and create that sense of mist between the valley like a sort of valley in between the two trees again varied the colour as I came along try and keep it interesting and you can just see how well I've scraped out with the card just to give the effect of little little village in the in the mountains. Very simple method. I'm I'm still experimenting with it really, just see what sort of effects I can create. Um maybe put a bit of colour down next time rather than just leave it white. But a few scrapes of the card and you can create all manner of interest like these little cabins here and like some sort of wood pile or something a few little telegraph poles and fences coming down to our little pathway that winds right into the foreground so that's our finished painting hope you like that thanks for watching keep practicing any questions please ask and i'll see you again soon